So, this is the aftermath of uh, the motor falling off because I did not lock tight the motor on to the motor mount. Lesson well learned. So what we're doing is I really enjoyed flying this plane for the minute and a half, two minutes that I did fly it. It was great. So, I'm just going to duplicate this fuselage. I'll be cutting this V-tail off. Put it on here because it's just glued on right here. Everything will be the same. I measured the distance from the end of the fuselage to the hole. I pre-mounted that on my fuselage already. And I'm going to do the same thing with my speed controller and uh, receiver. I'm going to pre-cut all these holes so that I don't have to mess with it while it's all in a triangle form. And then when it's all folded up, everything will come into place. And hopefully we'll fly tomorrow. Because I am kind of prone to wreck, I'm going to beef this up by adding these two little flat um, carbon reinforcements. I'm going to lay them in here. Right in. They'll lay upright right inside there. And hot glue them in. It's a 140 inch piece that I've cut halfway. So it'll beef up the front half where all the damage occurs as you see. And hopefully what well, I like to do on these holes that we cut out for battery places, the cargo doors and stuff, is I like to reinforce the edges with just some simple popsicle sticks. They're light and they're easy. And it helps keep them caving from caving in underneath. And when we're all done, I'll run a little bit of glue along it and iron it through so all the edges are protected so the tape doesn't peel up as well. But that makes it just a little, little stronger, but it doesn't really add much weight. It's a good little... Thing I like to While do the there. miniature pincers are dining off some spilled dog food behind us, I'd like to show you the progress now. We have our motor mounted. Went ahead and soldered everything on there for that. The speed controller is glued in. The receiver is glued in. The hole is cut for the wires to come through for uh, the aileron servos. And now we need to cut the bay door. For the battery and here's our two hatches one where the battery goes in and one where the battery will be secured complete with the pile already attached I went in and stuck a popsicle stick on there to give it some rigidity so when you pull it open it doesn't bend might do the same thing on this one that one seems to be okay we've uh, ironed all the sides inside the doorways and the doors themselves with a little hot glue to keep the edges from fraying. We've added our magnet and just a little hex nut in there to help keep that closed. Alright, I went ahead and made the folds, glued the last seam. Hey. And I'm ready to put my tail on. That tail will come off and go on here. Here's the finished product, what it looks like for the doors. You slip the battery in there, you get it where you want it, hold it in there with your finger. When you close this door, the door holds the battery and the battery holds the door. They well, here it is. Net. There's our finished product. Agent Orange has been revived. I've got the balance right, the CG is picture perfect right on the cord we got two rubber bands holding it on here the agent orange lives again to fly another day our tail section went on just fine all hooked up wings mounted on there with two of the big rubber bands from hobby town battery I went ahead and added a Popsicle stick here to stiffen that up a bit. Got our 1500 kV trusty motor from Hobby, uh, from Grayson Hobby, uh, with a 8x4 thin electric prop on there. Should get a good speed out of that. It is a bit windy today, and I learned a good lesson yesterday on why not to fly in the wind. As you see, and we're not doing that today. We'll be patient and wait so as to not destroy our work. That's it there. 
it is looking good all exposed edges have been coated with hot glue and ironed so that it protects them from fraying from damage and I'm ready to get out there and fly it as soon as it's okay to fly but right now it's still a little windy here in Texas wind is kind of something we have to deal with sometimes with a light aircraft like this you could really have a problem on your hands so we're just not gonna go there and there we are okay we're back out here to try it again we just have a barely a uh, little breeze here we're gonna do the agent orange re-maiden got our right left up down make sure we got power All right. Let's fly. Pretty good there. That seems to be pretty good. Trimmed out perfect. Balance is good. A little loop. Little roll. Oh, that was bad. Okay. <laughs> After my little stunt flying, I wound up in the weeds. Really was unremarkably damaged. Actually, not damaged at all. Straighten the wing a little bit. Right, left, up. Uh oh. We knocked a knock the tail servo out let's see nope it's come disconnected in there okay but that's the only damage we got I'm not doing too bad <laughs> 